You have the angel lighting on you. Okay, we're going through McDonald's breakfast. I'm so excited because it's the weekend and... It's Sunday. It's Sunday, okay. yes. Shining his light on you. Amen. Um, I watched one McDonald's. I'm very excited. We haven't had a McDonald's breakfast in so long. Like, I know I said I don't crave fast food, but I do love the McDonald's breakfast, which is not really fast food because their egg is real egg. It's really good. And their pancakes are just like this little roll of thing. And all you get is the egg and muffin. Really, like, oh, they have a chocolate pretzel. That's what I love. What do you think the chances are your coffee, your frappuccinos won't work today? I think maybe it's early. We were relative. <laughs> last time we were like at the last minute. I was like, I wouldn't to record the conversation we just had because if you guys don't believe us, we would literally just talk about TV shows we watch. <laughs> I feel like, I don't we know. We watched I don't know. two finales yesterday. So. We watched two finales yesterday and I thought they were both really, really good to the fact that I'm like sad about them this morning. We watched the Kardashians on Hulu finally. We watched the, we had, it was like the last two episodes we hadn't seen, which was like so good. I loved it because, well, it was so sad because they had Chloe's like cheating and we were just saying like how sad it is. Like, because everyone is like, oh, well, you know, if he cheated on, if he cheated with you, he'll cheat on you. But it's still sad regardless. It's still, like, so sad. So we watched that. I also just love their bougie lifestyle. I just love how fancy they are. <laughs> They're really, like, the richest people ever, I think. They have so much money. They just be... No, the real rich people don't show you that. They're not on TV. No, but they're billionaires. No, but there's there's people that are, like... Babe, I understand that, but they're, like, definitely more. billionaires. Sure, but... I'm saying like yeah, they're here. But that's why I think people like them is because billionaires don't show their lifestyles. Like they won't be on Real Housewives or stuff like that. So like these are actual billionaires, like really rich people showing us like the inside of their lives, like which I think is Yeah. They're actually I mean their life looks pretty simple. Yeah. Um oh, they don't have they don't have shakes but they do have ice cream. What does that mean? Okay. We have a cream pie. <laughs> do you want one egg McMuffin with no No meat, no cheese? The meal. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Can I get one egg McMuffin with no cheese and no meat? Just the egg and the bun? Okay. And a meal. Do you want the meal or just the sandwich? Meal with orange juice. Meal with orange juice. What size orange juice? Medium. Medium. Okay, anything else? And one, the pancake. Hotcakes by themselves. Hotcakes just by itself. Or the hotcakes, okay. And then uh, another order, two egg McMuffin with no cheese. Just the ham and the egg? Yes. Okay. Anything else? Let's see. Do you have any of the iced coffee? The... Yeah, we have iced coffee. Where's the one? It's a McFrap. Like... The McFrap. <laughs> Sorry, which one? McFrap. The frap is? Yes. Which size? Medium size. And do you want a caramel frap or a mocha frap? Mocha. Medium mocha frap. Okay, anything else? That's it, thank you. Okay, first one, thank you. <laughs> I honestly didn't know if that was the name, so when he said it, I was like, wait, I don't think that's the name, but I think it is. I saw it over there on his, on the other person's he screen. He just said it's not on the screen. No, I know, it was on the other person's screen, so I was trying to look over there, and I thought it said McFrap, but I didn't know. I think it is, though. <laughs> and I was like, wait, is that? <laughs> I'm like, is it the blended, or is it the iced one, or is it? <laughs> It was, I, I always think of like a Frappuccino, but that might be like Starbucks or something. That was early. <laughs> oh, wow, you're so good at covering your number. I'm always scared you're gonna like show your number. Hey. It's cool now the new um, cards have like everything on the Same back. Yeah. Because it, we used to, when you used to go to like a restaurant and like you flip it over so people didn't see your number. So now I'm just like, oh, it's just right there. Um, but yeah, we love the car actions. That's a good show. But we can never do reality oh, so show. They actually leave a pretty like simple life. Kim seems to be the most lavish, you know, private airplanes. Yeah. All those fancy cars. But she tries to act normal, which is her dibs. I just want dibs. That's all I want. <laughs> I'm like, are you sponsored by dibs? Because honestly, did we not go get dibs oh, after the Elvis sure. movie at a gas station? Because I, I asked him about the movies and he's like, everyone's been asking for dibs. And then we went to a gas station and got like, I... Because I think when, it's one thing to be like, oh, I'm craving this, but <laughs> when there's a script, you know, right. they say so many things about the one thing. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. And she's like brought it up again when she was in Mexico. Like, do you have the do you have ice creams in the red box? Like, so descriptive of it. I was like, oh, you my mean God. the one you brought with you to serve us? <laughs> <laughs> we will serve you once you ask for us. I love it though. Oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You're so smooth. Huh? 
I feel like we're we're like the Kardashians. We're like Chris and Kylie going through the car wash. Huh. I just want to do normal things with you. I just want to go through a McDonald's. This is our normal life. It's so crazy. Um. Finale talks. Lisa Kardashian is current. <gasps> mm. This is more mocha? Yes. Uh, Medium. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. What is the order? It's the egg big muffin oh. with hash brown and then two egg big muffins. Oh, here. Here. Sorry. Crinkled it up. Oh, and hot cake. My hair does kind of look good today. This is like three day old hair, and I was in the pool yesterday. Like, this is kind of. You're not crying. <laughs> <It's sad>. <laughs> <laughs> no, this morning I was like brushing my teeth, looking over, and I was like, oh my oh, god, it looks so good. Aw, that was nice. I was like, wow, thank you. I didn't even do anything. I took my hair down for a TikTok and brush it. You're so tan from the pool yesterday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The drinks? So drink? Orange juice and the mocha. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I think food, right? No, just just orange juice. Unless you want a coffee. What do you need? No. There's one more medium orange juice. One more medium orange juice? It's a little medium. Okay. Did he charge for also co no, two coffee? This or? is a frappe? Yes. No, it's a frappe. No. We got the frappe, yeah. Do you have the receipt, babe? <laughs> oh, here. Let me see. Yeah, that's on there. It's a frappe. This is so lost. This one? It's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. One more orange juice, that's it. One yeah, it. we had the frappe too. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Thank uh, you. One more straw, please. Oh, good call. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Busy morning on a Sunday. Um. Oh, it was funny because she was holding our drinks. Well, there was a lot happening, and there's but also she wasn't this... sure, but I'm like, oh, you're, you're it. You're it. but this one was also two lines, so it's like confusing. And then the guy came and he told her, medium oranges, medium. Wow, well, it's a lot. It's a Sunday morning. People are out. It's a lot happening. No, I think the screen wasn't matching the order. Oh, um, so she was like looking at the screen. She's like, wait, oh, there's a medium. How do you know? Those, all those Porsches. Oh, you feel sad without your Porsche. You had to trade in your. Single bachelor car for our mommy SUV, mommy daddy SUV. You wanna go park by him for old time's sake? You're like, hey guys, I used to, I used to have a red now Porsche. I'm the, this is the the dad car. Version. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer mom. Oh. I did have a dream that I was like with a baby, and I was putting her in the car. That was it. This car? No, it was like a sports car. Oh my god, that that's weird. <laughs> that's actually so funny. And then you just saw it. It was it was funny because I was like. The car was so low, and I like opened the door, and then I'm like, "Okay, you have to like." <clears throat> okay, sorry. I didn't mean to stop it. It accidentally stopped on the story. He said the baby was like self-sufficient. She was like doing like putting herself in and stuff. So I was holding the baby and getting to the car, and then it was like a sports car. It was really low. I was like opening the door, putting her on my seat, and then she had to get to her seat. <laughs> Maybe that will happen. And she did that. I was like so impressed. I was like, wow, you put yourself in, <laughs> in the car, your own car seat. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I think and those the are cheese. yours. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to take one sip of this. This is so good. <laughs> you should know this after you take the sleep if she's like. Oh, right. That's what they say. Like, the like caffeine. something cold and sweet. Make them... Um... <laughs> Move around. She does. After I had that Coca-Cola, I had literally one sip of Coca-Cola at the fair. We'll see. She's like, mmm, a jolt. That is so good. I drank on the way. <laughs> That's my one sip. I feel like if you don't take your lips off of it, I count as one sip. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many gulps. <laughs> <laughs> so the other finale we watched yesterday 
It was a show from 2013 called Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. It's on Disney+. Plus. It started off slow, but it was the best finale I've ever seen. It was so good. I was so excited about it. And now it's over. Because at the beginning, Jafar wasn't a main character. And then he became the main character. And he was so good, and I love him so much. We're officially done with the Naveen Andrew shows. We have no more shows for him to watch. We watch The Dropout, Lost, and Once Upon a Time. There's, like, movies, but... No more shows. You gotta find a new obsession. I'm so sad because he was so good as Jafar. Everyone, like, was pissed about the live-action Jafar, as was I. I did not think he was good. I did not think he was a good Jafar. And I've always loved Jafar. Jafar's, like, the favorite villain. Everyone loves him in the cartoon. Everyone whatever. And he was so good in this. His outfits were so good. His story was so good. And, yes, spoiler alert, he did go back into the genie bottle. He became a genie at the end of this, too. But, like, it was just so good. And the story was good. The Queen of Hearts. Like, the you know, all that was really good. I... I was so sad it was over. I dreamt about it. The first thing I said to Moses when he woke up, I went, how did the original genies get cursed into the bottles? He explained it to me, the water thing, and I was like, oh my god. You're so smart. You know everything. I liked how his mom, when she died, she just turned into water. And... You think that's how that happens when we die? Yeah. For real. I'm like, did you see this show? And that's how you got that theory? <laughs> Where did you get that theory? The Bible or where? Just common sense. <laughs> no, there has to be a way because you're not taught that as a kid. Like, oh, your body goes back into the earth. It's my iron pills. Well, they always say ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But I was like, wait, our body is mostly water. <laughs> so to me, it's more like ashes to ashes, water to water. But where did you come up with that? Well, I was just looking at, like, what I was looking for is what's alive in our body. Like, what's actually holding life. Right. And the only thing that's alive in our body, actually alive, is water. What has it alive, though? Because, like, if you take a rock, it's a rock. It will never be anything else. Right. It will never do anything. It will never, like, flow somewhere or change its form. But if you take water, it's always moving. It's always alive. Water is always active and alive and... So, when you die, our body, like our bones, stay in place. The skin and the hair and the nail, they all stay in place in the soil. But the water in your body flows, and it flows down, and it flows to the river, and to the ocean, and to the rain, and to the clouds. Or the water gets absorbed by plants, and animals, and trees. So that's the cycle of life. So after you die, you can continue living on in the trees around you, in the birds, in the... Like, mm. So water is the only active thing in our body. That's what I was looking for. What's active? What's still living and moving? So when your body dies, it's not like it's done. It decomposes and the water leaves the body and moves on. And Where does your soul go? To the ocean. Like the ocean is the greater consciousness. And that's so crazy. Because then you also think like, well, why do we even die? And like, why do we have to die? Because we're creating life now. Why does it? Why does it have to end? Why does it have to die? Well, we never die. Well, we physically die. Our bodies break down, but we don't die. Like, your soul, the water in your body never dies. It just continues on, flows on. So is there reincarnation then? <laughs> like, we're by ourselves in a parking lot, but it's like from... Two people. <laughs> from all the places, somebody... It's like, but there is a theory like that. That like... If somebody sees an empty parking lot, usually they'll go and park next to Why? a car. I don't know. It's almost like a magnet. Safety like or something? People... I don't know. It's, it's... it's so weird. That person I was like, and they just left. Both of them just left. They both pulled in and then they both left. I think, my guess, she saw you and then she saw that you're filming and left. Mm. That might have been someone. Because it kind of pulled her. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. At least they know, like, that's a true, true fan if they know, like, don't knock on the window if I'm in my car. If I'm out, okay, but knocking on the window drives me nuts. It drives me nuts when I'm in my car. And people do it so many times. Not lately, but they used to do it all the time. Like, knock, knock, knock. I remember one time I was in the back seat. It's on video still. It's called, like, a 7-Eleven, like, ASMR mukbang in my car. I think GB, I'm in the back. It's tinted. 
the girl literally is like, it's a woman, actually, it's a mom. I'm just like, hello, can you come out? Can you come out? I'm like, and I'm in the back and I'm doing ASMR, so I'm not even trying to talk. And I'm like, and I didn't want to edit it. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, trying to do that. And she still goes on. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm in the back, so I have to get to the front. I'm like, wow, people. It's crazy. It's so crazy to me because I love celebrities. Like, I'm starstruck with everybody. Like, I, when I saw the guy from Lost, but even like in a public setting, I still feel so weird, like going up to someone. Much less if he was in his car in the back seat. Though, like, I mean, <laughs> this would be so weird. But I get it. It was a pink Jeep wagon, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> our baby's in water right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just floating around. You are still born into water. Mm hmm. I guess that's why people do water bursts. It's like natural. Like it's less of a shock. You move from one body of water to another body of water. So when do they take their first breaths? When do they come out of the water? No, when do they do that? When they come out of the water. Right away? So they, so just, how, how long are they in the water when they come out? As long as you're in the water, your lungs are filled with water, your, water, your mouth. Mm -hmm. The minute they get out, they can actually get air. But, but the umbilical cord gives them the oxygen they need. Oh. Um, how ironic though, that Jafar, father died with all the water coming out of him so water can also kill well because he drowned Jafar did Jafar die when he was a boy he, he survived he it but I'm saying he drowned Jafar that's why Jafar killed him by drowning oh um, that's why he had water coming out um they went in today the same way. I thought it had something to do with the well, with the little girl at the well or something. And Jafar's dad was the guy from um, Employee of the Month. And I think 40 year old virgin, I think he was in. He was in so many. He's like always in comedy. It was so good. And they had the guy from Smash on there. They had so many good actors. We didn't know the other people, but I liked them. And the Neva Hearts. And... <laughs> it was so good. I loved it. What are we going to watch now? Usually your obsessions. Uh, I'm not obsessed with anyone now. Who is it? Who would I be obsessed with at the moment? I don't really think I have one. Like I mean, besides Elvis, him. but he doesn't have enough. Well, yeah, you can watch like Elvis movies. No, but I'm saying the guy playing Elvis. <laughs> but he doesn't have enough things to watch. I don't think. We can watch the Sharp Pay's Fabulous Adventure again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I love that one. Yeah, well, I've already watched it. Um, yeah. He's in the Quentin Tarantino movie. He was only in it for, like, probably a full, like, 15 minutes. And it's, like, a three-and-a-half-hour movie. I don't know if he would like that movie. I feel like, I don't know. I love that movie, but I don't know if he would like it. It's long, too. Which one is it? Once Upon, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> oh. I want to see it. Like, Brad Pitt's so good. That's what That was where my Brad Pitt obsession started. When that movie came out, I was like, oh my god, I love him. He's so good. Margot Robbie, the girl who plays Barbie, she's in it. Leonardo DiCaprio. No, I always wanted to watch the movie because I like movies that take place in L.A. Mm -hmm. And it's like in like the 1960s, mm -hmm. so it's like really cool. I always loved that. That's why I loved about also Tommy and... Oh, Pam and Tommy. Oh, and you like that about the Kardashians, too. You keep saying you like mm -hmm. how they show L.A. and stuff. I mean, I'm down to watch that movie because I love that movie. I thought it was, like, so good. And they have, like, real-life people in it that look like they have a Bruce Lee actor that's, like, mm -hmm. a, you know, they have, like, supposedly real-life people, like Hugh Hefner, they go to the Playboy Mansion. And they have, like, I don't know, it's really good. It's, like, and, like, the end gets, like, a little bit violent, but not too bad. If I can handle it, you can handle it because I don't like violent movies. But I like that one a lot. And Austin Butler's in it. I think he was really good in that movie, too. I think that was around the time he got casted for Elvis, because at the premiere, he had, like, the black Elvis hair. So I think he knew he got Elvis at that point. And he's so good in it. Yeah, that kid's good. Was he preparing for the role for two years, or filming for two years? Filming for two years, but, yeah. Oh, well, maybe that means that includes preparing probably i would think i don't think he filmed I, yeah i don't know well they said they had a four hour cut so they must have filmed so much more and those are big setups like those are you know big costumes big setups big performances like it probably was yeah i would guess two years like preparation and 
filming and because he was traveling all over for it. It was so fun. That would be such a hard movie to carry because like you're in every scene. You're through every decade. You're playing different ages. He's 30, so he's playing like teenager, 30s, and then also 40s. Always in the perfect spot. Right. That makes sense. It's not like that Celine Dion that we saw where like That's this so actress weird. played like Celine Dion at like a baby, like at five but years she's old. 60 now? <laughs> but she plays, they CGI her face on a child, <laughs> on a teenager. It's so weird. But somebody said that she's the one that directed, and directed wrote, it. Yeah. So that's the only way that, <laughs> that makes sense. They're like, I want my face. She should put her face on every character of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it would be smart. Was it if you ever play Moses? Mm -hmm. Um, you're like at the perfect age for it because they can make you like you look young, so you could play like a young Moses. Because even young Moses wasn't like, I mean, so young. You know what I mean? You could just play that. We could also play old Moses. They did a movie with Brad Pitt where they made him look like younger. I forgot what it was, but he looked super young. Or was it Leonardo DiCaprio? There was one movie where someone was like way younger. They made him look way younger. I forgot who. Poor Leonardo DiCaprio. I feel like he's like the one actor that did not age. Like, I mean, he's still handsome. I don't think he's like ugly or anything, but. When you see him in Titanic, oh my god, it's like so crazy how like how much he really aged. Everyone else like looks, I think, amazing. Like we saw George Clooney in a movie preview yesterday, a new one. Brad Pitt looks freaking amazing. He looks better than ever. Like I don't know with Leo. Again, he still looks good. He just looks so different. He just looks so much older. Like he really aged. But I think it's a type. Are there certain people? Because I remember. When you're a kid and you look at adults, like older people, like you don't make the connection between them and a kid. Right. And then as you see people age and you're like, oh, that person becomes that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like if you met Leonardo DiCaprio now, not knowing what he looked like before, you like meet him and I was like, okay, that's a normal looking person. Yeah. And then you see a picture of him younger, it's like, oh wow, he's so handsome. Like, I know, like, but that's... that's, that's how, but there's people that that's, they just have a more round, a more, I don't know, a certain type of face. That just ages. And like Brad Pitt has a certain type of face that that's his face. He aged. It's not like he, it's not like Leonardo didn't age well. It's just that's his look as an older person. But that's what I'm saying. He didn't age well. Brad Pitt aged so good. Like we saw him in that movie with like Sandra Bullock and he was like, oh my God, like hotter than he was younger. Like most guys, they always say age, like women tend to not age as well, like including me but you know like usually guys age better that's like the thing right and he like just didn't but like every other Hollywood actor like I think it really aged better like everyone gets better with age because he has such a baby face and a man cannot age well with a baby face mm. you just become this kind of roundish I don't know how to explain it but but that's what I'm saying like Brad Pitt doesn't matter how he aged you could have done drugs and alcohol and smoke and all those things he's his face has a certain way that he looks older. Yeah. That matches and makes sense, and he's still like sexy and manly. But yeah. For Leonardo, just there's no way to age differently better. <laughs> like it's just. Who's someone else like that though? That would be in the Leonardo category because I can think of everyone else in a Brad Pitt category, like Antonio Banderas, like all those people. Because if anything, he reminds me like he. I think when he gets much older, he'll be more like a Mar Marilyn Brando. You know what I mean? Like has that kind of a. Oh yeah, Marlon Brando didn't age very well. You know, but but he has a good face. You know, he did. He had like good. I think he just gained weight. Older. Marlon Brando. But like to me, that's what he reminds me of now. Okay, that's a but good. But he looks comparison. like a young Marlon Brando or something. I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. I think Elvis aged nice. Everyone always like makes fun of like Elvis when he got bigger, but like in the movie at the very end, they made his prosthetics a little too crazy. But like the real Elvis when he was bigger was still very handsome. I thought. Like, he gained weight and looked nice with it. I think I it was just puffy from the peel. It's like, it's, it's puffness. It's not even... Yeah, but he looked good with the puffness. Because he still had that really nice nose. Austin Butler is one who aged good. Because, like, in Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure, I never thought he was, like, cute. I was like, oh, my... Not, you know, oh, well, I guess he was, like, a boy. So, I guess that would be whatever. But he definitely aged good. Everyone loves him now. My sister, everyone's on the Marlon Brando. Well, he's dating a supermodel. I think Cindy Crawford's daughter. Well... Johnny Borat. <laughs> Big success. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> um, now we're gonna get groceries because we're gonna cook lunch. 
later, not now. This was our breakfast. But yeah, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, so good. I wish I was on that show. Every show, Naveen Andrews was in, I wish I was in. And we're just saying how he gets all the hot blonde bitches. In Princess Diana, he was the doctor that dated her toward the end of her life. The dropout, he's with Elizabeth Holmes. Lost, he's with Shannon. And once upon a time, he gets with the Queen of Hearts. I was like, oh, okay, just. You know, I guess he would be considered like a sex symbol, I guess. Or like a like a leading man. I know, but he's not really a leading man. So it is kind of. I've done so many different cosplays with you. That is true. What's, what's been your favorite cosplay? Then we'll go get the groceries. Um, hmm. Oh, my belly. I can't bend over anymore. <laughs> I think one of my favorites when we did the Dolly Parton. Oh, really? When you were Burt Reynolds? One of my favorites. Wait, why? Because of the, the cause of the set of the setup or just back no, character? Like both of us. That's one of them. But that's my, one of my favorites. I'm just I'm just looking back. But I mean, I think the biggest one, my favorite one, was our proposal, which goes back to being Jafar, Jafar <laughs> which I love. Oh my god! I mean, that costume was perfect, and the long hair and everything. Looking back at it now, like I love it. Like we, I was looking at, I was trying to get photos for a TikTok, and I was like, oh, that actually was like so unique and so good and so different. Like we've seen so many proposals on TikToks, and and now also because I liked it a lot, I've always loved Aladdin first of all, so I like the outfit, but also now that we're watching once more time like oh you were Jafar we were and we were always proposed in character cosplay and it was pretty like the desert was pretty the it pictures were real. pretty you look great yeah that's your setting for sure not your setting but that's what mm -hmm. you look good in like the desert I found home yeah yeah because I thought I mean anything else would have been you know me and jeans and t-shirt and your glam but you know it's like yeah like what we walk somewhere and there's flowers there's lights <laughs> there's a fireworks your sister is filming like you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean like, it would be like something that it was also quarantine so it was like kind of like it was during 2020 yeah, the so the options were very limited I thought it was perfect and yeah I don't like when there's like a ton of people around I don't like when there's it's in public we've seen people interrupt the proposals and then yeah I think like family is good but I don't know there is something nice to just us too but there was some exactly that's why I think because there was something because it's actually the whole not just the proposal the whole time after the proposal we were like driving through the desert into yeah. the sunset like oh. literally into the sunset mm -hmm. spending time alone in the hotel just us mm -hmm. and we yeah. call all our family in the hotel yeah so that oh. all of those things were so unique like anything else we would be like well, going back to you know either Donna Rose or somewhere else <laughs> yeah <laughs> be like, just oh. we were like completely in a bubble detached from the world I honestly, and then people are like, oh, she knew, she knew. I honestly was actually no, so surprised. Not know. I did, did not, not know. know. Trust <laughs> me, I did not know. I was like, wow. I was, Who's I didn't. They catch thought her. you knew? Oh, yeah. People on the TikTok are like, oh, she clearly knew. Like, and even when I posted it, they're like, oh, obviously she knew about it. How? I know. No. I, that's why. Trust that's, me, she did not know. When I told the story before in the past, I would always tell it as like, oh my God, that's not how I would choose to be opposed to because I just was like trying to make a point of like, I did not know because like, honestly, if I had like a say or a nudge in it, like I probably would have done it different, but like not now. Now I'm like, oh no, that was the perfect proposal. But at the time I was like, oh, but now it's not, it really is perfect. When I looked at those photos, I was like, oh no, it looks so good. I look genuinely happy. I remember the moment. I remember all of it. Like it was a good time and it was, I loved it. And it was really unique and it was really special and I love, love, love it. But at the time, I always told the story because I wanted, because I really wanted people to know. Like I really didn't know. Like I would never have picked that proposal ever in a million years. But again, that's why I liked it. And that's why it was special. Because I was like, and that's why she was surprised. Because that's what you see in the photos. When you look at the photos and video, you'll see she's genuinely <laughs> like the emotion and the surprise. I was surprised. Was so... I was surprised, and I remember the first thing you said. I was like, you called my dad, which I was like so shocked. So I'm like, oh my god, my dad knows about this. Like that was. And then when I saw the <laughs> ring, I was like real surprised because that was like the dream ring and. I was just like, holy cow. And that will always be my favorite thing. I mean, I know it's materialistic, but like, I always look at that and be like, that's why I miss it so much. And I just like, I love it. I love it so much. I'm like, that's my perfect ring. I can't wait to wear it again. It was so good. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I miss it. We love the Me ring. Too. We love the ring so much. The it's whole so set. Crazy. We got the whole three set. Mm -hmm. And it was the fact that you like remembered and you got it. And I just was like so shocked and it was so, it was so big, you know? And I just, again, it's not about the ring, but it definitely was like extra. I was like, wow, it's so cool. I wanted to make so. sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was so perfect. I loved it. I love that ring more than anything. Well, I love you more than anything. But 
that proposal was so good. And you were Jafar and I was Jasmine, the sexual Jafar, because I was the slave Jasmine. That was the costumes, which I feel like you don't even know who you were dressed as. <laughs> I just look at it aesthetically. I was like, we're matching. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like that's. I liked it. I'd rather go colors, with Jafar. Like than the Aladdin. colors. That's my colors because I'm Scorpio and it's like black and red. Yeah. Like I just felt. I felt good. Did you? I wondered that. I'm like because I remember you were like kind of you were like a t-shirt because well, you got the, the the way the costume itself was made a certain way that, that I'm just like I can't have things to like it was just. Physically, sometimes I have issues, so I had to adjust certain things. I adjusted them, and then I was fine. I was fine with the costume. Which I noticed in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, because I was thinking about cosplay. At the beginning, the first episodes, Jafar had a really high collar, mm -hmm. but then at the end, they he had no collar and a yeah. really low cut. I was like, oh, oh wow. Yeah. He had it like here. Yeah. Like his whole face was inside <laughs> of it, and his hair. I wonder if maybe he had it. Maybe he has the same issue you do. He's like, oh, it's, I can't. It's too too much there. Because then they made him like super sexy, low cut, mm -hmm. and they give him a blowout. Like he had the Saeed haircut at the beginning, <laughs> and then the, by the end, he has like a blowout. I was like, wow. Maybe they, yeah, he had the same issue. Because I was thinking, I was like, oh, that's like a cosplay. I don't know where we'd go with these costumes. Like, I like the idea of cosplaying Queen of Hearts and Jafar, but I don't know where we'd go. And where would our baby be a costume? I guess she could be Alice, but Alice had the worst costumes in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. So, so. be the rabbit. Oh my god, that's so mean. I get to be the what? beautiful Queen of Hearts, and then, like, oh, you get to be a white well, rabbit. She's a baby. No! <laughs> Even our costume for Halloween this year, she gets to be the princess. <laughs> I'm gonna be something not cute and well she's cute my my hair my costume's cute but she gets to be the princess because like that's my biggest pet peeve I've seen so many families do this where they'll like do like a little mermaid cosplay like it'll be like the mermaid and Eric and then like the kids are like the crab and the fish and I'm like they don't want to be a crab and a fish they want to be them so I think we found the perfect costume this year so I'm really excited I gotta probably get that around before I go into labor because it's so wild to get costumes around everybody's costumes and I love to do that and our Christmas too it's our first Christmas where we can be cozy and celebrate and like decorate our house and take cute Christmas photos together as a family so I gotta find Christmas. the right dress and my outfits for everybody we're gonna really like first Christmas with our baby in our house oh my god can you imagine we're here Christmas morning it is Christmas and she should be the one under the tree the baby yeah the she's the gift. gift she is the gift all right, let's go get these chicken sandwiches. This is so good. Okay, bye. <laughs>